Canada's immigration system is replacing NOC to tier. Understanding the changes to Canada's national occupational classification. I am Marcelle Kirkhoven, licensed Canadian immigration consultant. The National Occupational Classification or NOC Code is a fundamental part of Canada's skilled worker immigration programs. And it is going to be replaced by a completely new classification system in 2022. Canada conducts a review and overhaul of its occupational classification system once in every 10 years. By the end of 2022, the NOC system will be replaced by Training, Education, Experience, and Responsibilities or Tier Categories. NOC versus a Tier What's the difference? The existing system has five skill levels to categorize different occupations. Zero, managerial jobs. A, professional jobs requiring university education. B. Skilled trades requiring college education or apprentice a training. C. Semi-skilled jobs requiring secondary school or occupational training. D. Semi-skilled and unskilled jobs requiring on-job training with little or no other formal education. Going ahead, this will be replaced by a numerical classification system consisting of six categories. Tier 0 will cover management occupations and is likely to be the equivalent of NOC 0 positions. Further, Tier 1 will include persons in Tier 2, occupations with several years of work experience. Tier 2 covers a jobs where candidate is required to have post-secondary education of two years or more or apprenticeship or training as well as occupations with supervisory or significant safety responsibilities. Further, persons in Tier 3 occupations with several years of experience can graduate to Tier 2. Tier 3 requires a post-secondary education or apprenticeship of less than two years or secondary schooling with more than six months of on-job training. Again, a Tier 4 candidates with several years of experience can qualify for Tier 3 positions. Tier 4 covers positions where applicants must have completed secondary school and are likely to undergo a few weeks of on-job training while Tier 5 is for jobs with no formal educational requirement. Bearing Tier 5 and Tier 0, persons in other tier categories can move to a higher category on basis of their work experience, even if they don't have the prescribed educational qualifications. To this extent, a long work experience is treated to be equivalent to a formal degree. What a tier changes mean for you? Currently, skill level A, which includes skill type 0, consists of 28% of all unit groups, followed by 42% for skill level B and 24% of 4 skill level C. The remaining 6% is covered by skill level D. Under the tier system, a tier 0 covers 9% of unit groups with tier 1, 2, 3, and 4, covering 19%, 31%, 13%, and 18% respectively. Tier 5 has 9% of unit groups. The new occupation code will have 5 digits instead of the earlier 4 and the total number of occupations has increased from 500 to 516. The new occupations cover fields like data security and cyber security, which is good news for tech professionals. So, as a skilled worker, how are these changes going to impact you? 
Well, a six skill levels I mean the distinction between a skilled, a semi-skilled, and unskilled the position will be a lot sharper. This can be good news if your existing semi-skilled position gets upgraded to a skilled position. However, uh, the opposite too may happen, which means you may need to urgently plan to upgrade your skills so that your immigration and job prospects uh, don't suffer under the new system. Further, the change in distribution of unit groups for each category means there may be a marked shift to skilled workers falling in the existing NOC A and B skill levels. This is not to say that NOC 0 or managerial occupations will go out of favor. Nevertheless, it's safe to conclude that Canada Immigration's emphasis on skilled workers especially with skills of falling in the upper end of the classification system, will increase in the years ahead. Three steps to follow under this change. The first step is to ensure that your NOC properly aligns with your immigration path. The second step will be to monitor how skill level B occupations will be managed by tier. Statistics Canada has noted that the B skill level has the largest pool of applicants due to its broad education and experience criteria. The third step will be to see how the high skilled NOC will translate into tier categories qualifying for express entry programs. FSWP draws are likely to resume, and applicants must be prepared for changes like new TR to PR strips or even super draws up for FSWP applicants. Added to this, skilled workers must also prepare for the NOC to tier transition and make sure your immigration chances don't suffer due to this change. Obviously, the smartest option would be to work with a professional so that you are best placed to take advantage of all the development is likely to take place in Canada in 2022.